It's the title check off our third album. It's called Drunk as Hell. Uh, Whiskey Dick, man, it's kind of hard to uh, pinpoint our sound exactly, but I think the best description has been uh, acoustic hillbilly country metal. Uh, we kind of tap into all of those roots and uh, it's hard to just put us into one genre. Uh, I think we come from uh, from a, a hard-hidden country roots, but we always have our metal background and we throw a little spin on everything. And uh, we like to call it Yeehaw music just because that makes sense to us. I've been lost, I've been found, pick myself up off the ground. Angels demons when they go to war, torn and broken, won't hurt no more. I, I think our band comes from uh, just pure Texas roots when it comes down to our sound. From the blues to country to the metal, you know, we just kind of intertwine all that from. You know, you got ZZ Top, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Pantera. That's just three I'm, I talk about, you know, with Willie Nelson and uh, Will and Jennings. And you just mix that all up and just boom, you get the Bastard Sons of Texas, which is Whiskey Dick. Pretty much that's how I describe our sound. You know. They call it uh, acoustic hillbilly country metal, which we just say it's fucking yee haul. Since in the back farming days, you yelled ye to go left and haul to go right with their mules, so our music is just kind of everything. Reverend Johnson on a guitar is unique, one of a kind, if you ask me. Uh, he doesn't just write leads and stuff, he plays from the heart from the soul and uh, we play shows and by the time we're done playing the show people's draw jaws are on the floor in awe because of what they just witnessed uh, that happens a lot and I think uh, that's what sets us apart from other bands is, is that we work, we work hard but our music shows our soul yeah, Fritz, uh, I tell you what, we, you know, when I met him, he was uh, playing in a, a metal band. And uh, when he would pull like, his guitar out and sing, I just, I heard it. I've been searching for a voice forever. I was just like, I knew there was one out there, but when I heard him sing, I was like, that's, that's, that's the guy. You know, I knew that was the voice of, uh, in my head, of, of music. You know, where I wanted to go as a musician, I knew that was the voice of the music that if, if I was writing, that was it. times when you get sick and, and uh, or somebody gets hurt uh, you know one thing we've always done is we just keep playing shows uh, I've even played with a cast on my hand we're duct taping you know Fritz's finger to his the other way he's got a cast on and we just we kept on uh, Reverend Johnson's played with 103 fever before uh, we just keep trucking keep going because we feel that it's important to our fans especially on tour, that if we book a show and uh, they're coming to see us, that we perform and give a per good performance. And, uh, you know, if, if we've ever been sick of, sick enough that we couldn't do that, then, you know, we wouldn't do it. But we've always felt confident that we could still perform a good show, so that's what we've done. With me having to go to the hospital from a festival, we ended up getting strep throat. I couldn't play since this is what we do for a living and we have people coming to see our shows. 
Fritz actually stepped up and did a solo act, solo show for us to get paid and keep playing and not let our fans down. It's working. We just we just got home three days ago from a 181 day tour, 33 states and six countries. And we get home and we only had one day off and the rest were just right back at work because we do everything ourselves right now. And uh, we just stay busy. And staying busy keeps your mind right.